Well, these days, to get to meet marine life, scientists are going to great lengths. Or should I say, great depths. New technology is bringing us to places on our own planet that are as unknown as outer space. For the first time, we can glimpse this mysterious world. Using deep sea probes, we can even collect samples and bring them to the surface. But if you really want to get to know how sea creatures live, why not let them be our guides? This scientist is preparing a camera for the ride of its life. It's called a Critter Cam, and it's specially designed for a very special experiment. After a test dive, it's time to pass it along to the real cameraman, a fur seal. The camera is rigged to its back. <laughs> Hold on! All right, so critters don't make the world's greatest filmmakers. Seriously. People like Howard Hall do. He's been into wildlife since he was about your age. I never really wanted to be an underwater photographer, at least not when I was six. What I did when I was a kid was collect bugs and put them in boxes and jars. And uh, when I got a little older, I graduated to things like uh, squirrels and rabbits. And I just loved animals. And uh, that enjoyment of animals, I think, had a lot to do with me becoming a, a, an underwater photographer. Howard has had many excellent adventures with the creatures of the deep. But one of his favorites was with a right whale. Wow. It was a remarkable experience because after we'd been with the animals a few days, one of them uh, actually became curious and wanted to play with us. And it was amazing. We found that the whale would come right down to me, come right down and sit on the bottom next to me and lean over toward me so that I would scratch his eyebrow. When you look in the eyeball of a whale, you know that behind there, there's a great big brain. And you have to wonder, what is it doing? It's right out of some science fiction novel, you know? There's something back there going on and you, you, you don't, don't know what it is. You know, there are so many mysteries in the ocean. 